Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I am Surbhi Sardana and I am taking this daily answer writing initiative from Monday to Friday at 9 pm. Here we discuss UPSC Mains, Civil Services Examination, previous year questions or mock questions and we discuss how to build answers for them so that you can get more and more marks in mains. The interesting part about this initiative is that you not only get to learn answer writing with us but you can also practice write your own answers and send them to us at the given email id for our valuable feedback. So the question for tomorrow's discussion is from GS paper 2. There is a schedule that we follow. The schedule till March 17 that is for the first 30 days can be downloaded from the description of this video. The topic for to tomorrow's discussion is from GS2 India and its neighborhood relations. The question is from current affairs regarding the Russia Ukraine conflict and its impact on India. So it's a very simple question you just have to have to discuss the implications of Russia Ukraine conflict on India. Answer in 150 words for 10 marks. Try to send your answers by 9 p.m. tomorrow that is 9th of March before the discussion is actually held write your own answer. If you are not able to write your answer then don't worry you can send your answer after the discussion 24, af uh, 24 hours after the discussion that is by 10th of March 9 p.m. at this email id this is also there in the description so don't worry about writing it. Beginning with our today's discussion. Today is day 22 of seize, uh, day 21 of seize the seize the mains and our topic is from GS paper 1 important geophysical phenomena. So this is the second question that we are taking from geography. Let's see what is the question for today and we have already received a lot of answers for this question. So try to send answers before the actual discussion takes place and uh, that's how you will build your stamina and the muscle for answer writing. Um, uh, before I display the question, keep a pen and a paper handy with you, take notes during the discussion, don't worry about writing in the entire answer because the PDF of this presentation is there, is attached in the description. Take notes whatever you find good in the discussion or what you think you can incorporate in your answer writing practice. So let's see what is the question. The question is discuss the geophysical characteristics of circumpacific zone. Answer in 150 words for 10 marks. Send your answers for this question by 9 pm tomorrow that is 24 hours, 24 hours after this discussion. So uh, talking about the circumpacific zone, this is also known as the ring of fire, pacific ring of fire or the pacific rim. So since this is a uh, uh, only a 150 words answer you will have to keep the things that you add very concise very much to the point since it's a geography question see if you can add any maps any diagrams or anything like that because that is what you'll uh, that is how you'll get more marks in geography also keep the explanations very short you don't have to define everything from the beginning keep it very concise so let's start by writing an introduction an introduction is a conversation with the examiner the first thing that you do before starting an answer. An introduction talks about whatever is given in the question. So here we have to talk about the circumpacific zone. So let's start by defining or talking about the circumpacific zone. So let me read this out for you. Uh, this is a very long one this does not adhere to the 150 words word limit. This initiative also provides you content regarding every question every issue. So make sure that when you write your own answer you compress it in 150 words. So the circum pacific belt is an area along the pacific ocean that is characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. Because of the volcanic activity it has been popularly dubbed as the pacific ring of fire. So since we know that this is the name of circum pacific ring we have very intelligently used the definition or the characteristics of circum pacific zone to uh, create uh, to introduce the second name of circum pacific zone in our answer. And uh, now moving on we will talk about its geographical extent from where to where it is present how long it is what area does it covers are there any popular areas included in the circum pacific zone. So all of that we will talk about in the introduction and then we will move on to talk about the geophysical characteristics of this, uh, of this area. It is stretched to approximately 40,000 kilometers tracing boundaries between several tectonic plates including the pacific, Juan de Fuca, Cocos, Indian Australian, Nazca, North American and Philippines plate. 
The chain wraps runs up along the western coast of South and North America, crosses over the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, runs down the eastern coast of Asia, past New Zealand and into the northern coast of Antarctica. This point is debatable. Also, you don't have to uh, have such an extensive introduction, just adding one or two points from the geographical extent of this uh, part would be more than enough. So, moving on to the body part. In geography, we uh, generally do not need linkage points or conclusions because uh, geography concerns about the very technical part of it. This is one of the thing, uh, you know, uh, the it uh, very well represents the Pacific Ring of Fire, the circumpacific zone. Since as you can see, this is a horseshoe shaped, it is horseshoe shaped. Uh, so, uh, you can also include this term that it is a horseshoe shaped structure of uh, area that comprises of these 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 plates or these these countries or continents so you can use such terms in your answer this is uh, taken from google images you can choose to draw like uh, i'm sure that you'll be very versed with the world map in geography and drawing this map would not be a tough deal uh, we all read about plates major and minor plates so when it comes to topics like circum pacific zone this diagram should be very much clear and you should be able to draw it with a pen and a pencil easily in your exam so here in a body paragraph we'll take the features of circum pacific zone one by one so, starting with what are the processes that are happening at the Pacific uh, Rim of Fire or the Circumpacific Zone. So, there is a, uh, there are a lot of plate tectonics there, uh, that are involved. There, there is a convergent plate boundary, the oceanic, uh, the oceanic plate is subducting under the continental plate. So, there is there are a lot of subduction zones that are present which give rise to volcanoes and there are many uh, plates there is especially the north american plate and the pacific plate which do not uh, which which just uh, slide past each other which just run sideways and that gives rise to a lot of earthquakes in this area so this part this part concerns about talking about plate tectonics what takes place and why it takes uh, why does the uh, why does uh, the things that are happening why are they happening and what are the things that are happening in this area so starting with you can also give a uh, subheadings to these points whatever suits you the ring of fire is a direct result of plate tectonics specifically the movement collision and destruction of lithospheric plates under and around the pacific ocean the collisions have created a nearly continuous series of subduction zones and these subduction zones uh, that is the highest number of subduction zones on this planet where volcanoes are created and earthquakes occur so here in a very short point we've told that whatever is happening here and why is it happening because of plate tectonics due to the movement collision and destruction of lithospheric plates the belt is along the boundaries of tectonic plates. This is the belt where plates of typically oceanic crust sink or undergo subduction beneath other another plate. Since oceanic plates are denser, they are heavier. When a continental plate and an oceanic plate collides, this plate, the oceanic one, subducts under the continental plate. It goes beneath that and a lot of subduction zones are created which gives uh, which give rise to volcanoes and earthquakes so this is exactly the thing talked about here consumption of oceanic mass oceanic lithosphere at these convergent plate boundaries has formed oceanic trenches volcanic arcs back arc basins and volcanic belts since uh, these are the geological forms that have been uh, formed due to these processes oceanic trenches you can talk about the mariana trench in your examples volcanic arcs you can talk about the important volcanoes back arc basins and volcanic belts you can talk about uh, island arcs we have given examples of prime examples of island arcs here prime examples of this form of geological feature include the aleutian alaska arc and the kurli kamchatka arc so now moving on we'll explain the volcanic part and the earthquake parts a bit in detail because that part is very important the uh, examples of arc we've given here and then we'll move on to give a little significance of the circum pacific zone that why is it so important apart from its disastrous consequences of volcanoes and earthquakes so this uh, you can use any of these diagrams both of these are from google images they explain the subduction of oceanic plate under the continental plate and how these subduction zones are formed, subduction points are formed and how volcanoes are formed. 
so you can use any of these learn to draw these diagrams because they'll be very helpful in your geography answers moving on to explain a little bit in detail about the volcanic part see this uh, area circumpacific zone is made of over 450 volcanoes most of the active volcanoes on earth are found underwater along with it this is because this area has the highest number of subduction zones as we told in the last point the second part is about hotspot volcanism what are hotspots hotspots are point on earth in the uh, from where energy heat rises through convection from the mantle from the deep areas of the earth earth and it comes to the surface when it comes to the surface it comes out as volcanic eruptions so there are many hotspots also which are located in this area so volcano volcanism can be ascribed to both the subduction zones and the hotspots that are located in this area so the ring of fire is also home to hotspots areas deep within the earth's mantle from which heat rises through the process of convection this heat facilitates the melting of rock at the base of lithosphere where the brittle upper portion of the mantle meets the earth crust the melted rock known as magma often pushes through cracks in the crust to form volcanoes so uh, you can choose to avoid this part entirely just say that there are a lot of subduction zones and there are a lot of hot spots located here due to which there is there are n number of volcanoes volcanic uh, activities ascribed to both of these so here um, after this here uh, there is uh, like these are the examples of the major volcanoes the most important volcanic eruptions that are Uh, that can be ascribed to this zone so i'll read this out for you but make sure that you add only what you can remember you don't have to remember 10 of these just write only the important ones there or the recent ones so major volcanic events that have occurred within the ring of fire since 1800 included the eruptions of mount tambora 1815 krakatoa 1883 novra Nova Rapta 1912 mount saint helens 1980 mount ruiz 1985 and mount pinatubo one of the recent ones 1991 so similarly we'll talk about earthquakes also and then we'll see are there any positive things that can be ascribed to this circumpacific zone in the subduction zones where plates overlap so in the introduction i told you that uh, there is an overlapping of plates and there is pass sliding of plates due to pass sliding of plates what happen due to their rubbing together what happens earthquakes occur so here we'll be define uh, we'll be talking about earthquakes in this area we have given the examples of island arcs we've talked about volcanoes and this is the third part to this answer in the subduction zones where plates overlap at convergent boundaries slip between plates and rupture within plates causes earthquakes this is the world's most seismically active zone and uh, especially uh, you can talk about this example especially this area where uh, pacific and north american plates they move sideways here and a lot of earthquakes occur in this area especially where these plates move sideways the circumpacific seismic belt is the world's greatest earthquake belt located along the rim of the pacific ocean over 85% of earth, uh, earth earthquakes occur along this path see uh, this is a lot of data that this much seismic energy is released uh, release these many earthquakes are there volcanoes also two third of world's volcanoes are ascribed to circumpacific zone so this data was missing in the volcanoes part make sure that you add it there in earthquakes only having one data like just write the highest seismic energy is released here or 85% of earthquakes are lo located here don't add too much data it would be hard to remember also so besides the most violent and dramatic seismic events are experienced here about 76% of the earth seismic energy is released as earthquakes in the ring of fire again concluding this part this earthquakes part with the examples you can read about most of the examples here it has been the setting for several of the biggest earthquakes in recorded history including the chile earthquake of 1960 so and so and moving on to this the chile earthquake of 2010 the earthquake of 2004 that caused tsunami in the indian ocean region make sure that you talk about this and you uh, make sure that you talk about the 2011 earthquake that caused triple whammy in japan so uh these two examples of 2004 and 2011 and one old example would be more than enough now moving on to the trenches these are also one of the uh, 
geological features trenches are one of the geological features of the ring of fire so it uh, ring of fire the circum pacific belt is a home to many deep trenches the uh, deepest one of them is the mariana trench 7 mile deep trench other trenches in the region are these these examples have to be there so see here we are just broadly defining we are just broadly telling the examiner what all is there in the circum pacific zone we are not talking about how the collisions of plate collision of uh, oceanic and continental plates takes place we are not talking about how formation of trenches or earthquakes takes place but what you can do is if there is just 150 words that you have in your answer use a lot of diagrams um use a lot of figures we have given four of them three of them in this answer if you have to add one for trenches also or the oceanic and continental plate collision which shows the formation of trenches the occurrence of earthquakes and volcanoes nothing better than that also you can um get scribe one diagram to to the island arcs so uh these are the examples for the trenches let me read this out for you the ring of fire is home to the deepest ocean trench called the mariana trench it is a 7 mile deep trench other trenches in the region are philippine trench challenger trench kurli kamchatka trench peru chilli trench tonga trench the presence of oceanic trenches indicates tectonic instability extending into the mantle of the earth so just like we had the similar explanations for volcanism and earthquakes um, through the subduction zones similar case is for the trenches now taking it towards the conclusion we have lightly touched on all parts of this answer the conclusion should talk about why this area is important you can choose to miss out on conclusions in geography but since this part is so important this uh, this question is so frequent in upsc so you can prepare this one in detail and uh, prepare parts that why this area is important due to the geothermal energy due to the places that are located here due to the natural disasters that occur from time to time and they affect normal lives of people every now and then so it affects many populated coastal regions around the pacific ocean for example those of new zealand new guinea japan aleutian islands alaska and the western coasts of north and south america world's largest geothermal energy resources more than 40% are stored in the pacific ring of fire it is roughly estimated that more than 100 uh, 110 gigawatt electricity generation capabilities of geothermal resources can be found in the region so as the circum pacific belt harbors the majority of global volcanic eruptions and earthquakes it holds immense significance regarding the study of earth's interior as well right as well here because this is the another point to the uh significance of this area so uh talking about significance of a uh, geological structure geological phenomena that that has been asked in the question is a very way a very good way to conclude make sure that you talk about energy socio economic impacts or economic impacts of such things or potential of um such regions so uh that will give a very good um very good reflection to the examiner that you uh, you know what you're talking about you're not not just going through the books but you, and also add things from your current affairs there there are many researches that go on that about this potential this data could be updated or many more things could be added many more things could be found also from time to time so just go to the uh, google google page type this area circum pacific belt and go to the news column on google generally we click on the all uh, column on the google go to the news column and see what all is there in current affairs regarding this topic and do this for every every topic of static portion of your main syllabus so this was about this answer make sure that you can use the right word limit right kind of diagrams maps in this answer whatever we have supplied you with or you can find your own or from your notes send this answer to us by 9 pm tomorrow that is 9th of march make sure that your answers are your own they're not copied from here because that's how you learn you can download the pdf of this presentation from the description below have faith in yourself keep writing answers even if they're not of very good quality we have seen immense immense improvement in quality in the st uh, answers of students who have been sending us to uh, sending their answers to us continuously on a daily basis so join us in this journey keep writing answers just give one one hour of your day including uh, going through this video to answer writing 
even if prelims is approaching this is the main part that will uh, take you to the final list so all the best keep working hard and smart see you with another discussion tomorrow that would be from gs paper 2 India and its neighborhood relations. We have already displayed the question for this. If you can write the answer for the question displayed in the beginning of this discussion, nothing better than that.